The GitHub app can be used for issue tracking and for starting your GitHub automated workflows from Case. To install the app, navigate to the Apps section of your workspace. You'll see the app under Continuous Integration or under Issue Tracking. Click on the app and install now. You'll be redirected to a GitHub login screen. Enter your credentials to log in, and on this page, either select all repositories or you can select specific repositories. I'm going to select all for now. Click on Install. The next step is to authorize GitHub to access your case workspace. Let's look at the issue tracking features of the GitHub app. You can link your test cases and test runs to a GitHub issue. You can also file a GitHub issue directly from within the case test run. To link a test case, go to the Properties section of the test case. Scroll down to find the link GitHub App Issues button. Select your repository and search for an issue to link. To unlink, simply remove the issue from this section. Similarly for test runs, in the Test Run dashboard to the bottom right under External Issue, select the integration as GitHub, and then proceed to search and link the issue to the test run. To file a GitHub issue from within a test run, add any negative result to a test case and check the Attach or Create Defect option. In the next screen, under Integrations, select the GitHub app. On this screen, the title and description are pre-populated from your test case title, steps, description, and preconditions. Finally, select your GitHub repository, and then click on Create. You can view this defect from the Defects tab of the run. This here is the defect we've just filed, and it's hyperlinked to the issue on GitHub. The issue on GitHub also contains a direct link to the corresponding case defect, as well as the test run the defect is from. The issue statuses on both case and GitHub are synchronized. So if you change the case defect status as resolved, the corresponding GitHub issue will have its status changed. Let's now look at the CICD functionality of the GitHub app. To start an automated test run, click on the Start a New Test Run button. Change the type from Manual to Automated. Next, select the GitHub app and proceed to choose your repository, branch, and the workflow. Once you start the run, Case will trigger the workflow in your GitHub Actions. You can see the build with its hyperlink here. Currently, it's in progress. Clicking on this will take you to your GitHub Actions page. Once the build is complete and the tests are run, you'll see the results posted to the same test run. Other relevant details such as the start time, the end time, and the duration of the run are also available here. Please note, starting an automated run will only trigger your workflow on GitHub but you will still need an API reporter installed and configured for collecting all the results of those executed tests and reporting them back to case. In this example, we have the Cypress reporter configured. Now, we'll look at configuring your workflow YAML on GitHub. You can start by selecting any of the available API reporters from the Apps section. Click on the app and open the guide to find instructions and configuration options for the specific reporter. To connect your GitHub workflow with Case, follow the instructions from the CICD section of the help article for GitHub. As mentioned earlier, we first need an API reporter configured. Then the next step is to create an API token by going to this link. It'll take you to this page where you can create your API token. You can also get to this page by clicking on your profile picture and selecting API Tokens. Once you have the token on your GitHub repository, go to the Settings page for the repository. And from there, under Secrets and Variables, select Actions. Then, under Secrets and Repository Secrets, add a secret with the Namecase API token. 
The final step is to add these exact blocks of code to your workflow YAML on GitHub. This will link your case test run with the workflow. Please ensure to add this step at the first place in the job before any other steps you may have. In the help article, you can find an example and some additional resources to help you set up your workflow. If you have more questions on this or any other feature, you can check out our help articles in our FAQ section. If you do not find an answer to your question, or if you have any feedback that you'd like to share with us, just drop us a message 